finding harmony within, understanding, to be at peace with. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into a beautiful and profound phrase that you might have come across in English conversations, movies, or books, to be at peace with. Understanding this phrase not only enriches your vocabulary but also offers insight into a state of mind that is aspired to by many. So, let's get started and unravel the layers behind this meaningful expression. The phrase, to be at peace with, carries a depth that goes beyond its surface level. Literally, it refers to the absence of conflict or disturbance. However, when we talk about being at peace with something or someone, we're often venturing into a more figurative territory. It signifies a state of acceptance, contentment, or harmony regarding a situation, person, or even oneself. This acceptance does not necessarily mean happiness about the circumstance but rather a serene acknowledgement of its reality without inner turmoil. To bring this phrase to life, Let's look at some examples. 1. Self-acceptance. After years of self-doubt, she finally learned to be at peace with her imperfections. This sentence highlights a personal journey towards accepting one's flaws and quirks. 2. Interpersonal relationships. He had a long-standing feud with his neighbor, but they finally managed to be at peace with each other. Here, it implies resolving conflicts and reaching a state of mutual respect or tolerance. 3. Life situations. Despite the initial disappointment, he's at peace with the outcome of the game. This example shows acceptance of a situation that didn't go as hoped for, without harboring resentment or frustration. Understanding and using the phrase, to be at peace with, is not just about language proficiency. It's also about conveying a profound emotional state. It helps in expressing complex emotions in a nuanced way, facilitating deeper conversations about mental and emotional well-being. For English language learners, mastering such phrases enables you to express empathy and understanding, essential components of effective communication. To be at peace with something or someone is a powerful state of being. And now, you're equipped to understand and use this phrase in your English conversations. We hope this exploration adds depth to your language skills and perhaps even to your personal reflections. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to bringing you more insightful content. Remember, language learning is not just about words. It's about the worlds they open up.